I have here an ESU Fox Tango 200. It's a classic all tube transceiver for amateur, uh, the classic non work bands uh, with only the VFO that has uh, some semiconductors and uses the sweep tubes in the finals. I just received this uh, from a friend as a gift, an old timer. It had a a very few minor issues fixed and uh, just wanted to showcase this. It appears to be in excellent condition cosmetically as well. No dirt, no dust, no dings. And uh, let me just turn it on. And it's right now on uh, 40 meters. And that's the speaker and power supply, also in very good condition. I have not replaced any capacitors. The rig itself has a couple of electrolytics, small ones replaced inside. But otherwise it is in stock condition. And it's a made in Japan. These were sold in under many brands. Summer Camp. FT250, FT200 uh, as well as FT250 and even uh, Tempo 1 sold by Henry I believe in the US. Manufactured if I'm not mistaken from uh, 1968 to 1963. Let me tune around. Let me try it. Try to load it on uh, tune mode. It's uh, I can get about uh, 70 watts in tune mode. That is in tune mode. But uh, in CW, let me turn it. This is the dummy load and watt meter. I'll just turn it to my dummy load and then see. Just added this to my classic collection of uh, Yesu rigs, the 902, uh, 902 Delta mic here, and uh, FT101 Zulu Delta Mark III, the FT1, all in good uh, working condition. Let me just see if uh, I can demonstrate the power output in operation. I have just connected the key here, CW key, and you can see it's about 350 milliamps. I had already tuned it uh, because one hand I'm holding the camera, I'll not be able to tune and key. I'd already tuned it before uh, this video. Let us see the power. <coughs> so the power that's in the red scale it's about how much 50 60 or 70 I can actually peak it up to about 90 watts 90 watts let me just uh, turn it to tune mode and then see if I can tune it further Let me come back here. Where did I 
go wrong? Oh yeah, I need to increase the mic gain. Okay. So that's, let me see. Okay, that's peaked. My gain is reduced. Now let me put it back into receive and then I'll change it to CW mode and then see how much power I get in operation. And CW mode. Oh. I was able to get about 90 watts. Just speak it further. My gain high. This is required because this has uh, several functions. In tune mode, we set the carrier as well, the tone. <coughs> so operate and my gain low. Let me grid, tune the grid for maximum. Okay, that's the maximum. And power out. That's the maximum. I see. My gain reduced. Go into CW. Now this controls the CW tone. We'll keep it at that. Switch it to operate. Uh, uh, this morning I was able to get about 90 watts, but uh, not bad for a set of tubes that appear to be the original that came along with the set. I don't think the old timer ever replaced the finals. And uh, I'm happy with this. I don't think I'll ever even look for a set of new tubes unless something goes wrong with these. Uh, with the current prices for the sweep tubes. I think I'm better off just to use it uh, to demo to other hams and once in a while just keep it warm and use it on the non-work bands. Reception is really good for its age. And it's a simple uh, straightforward 9 megahertz IF uh, rig and I'm sure the old timers there do know all about this rig. We cannot compare it with, uh, for example, the 902 Delta mic <coughs> or the 101 Zulu Delta that, use, that uses the 6146 Bravo tubes in the finals and also has a heater switch, whereas this rig, it doesn't have any heater switch to switch off the heater during re receiving only. And that way the finals get cooked, so to speak unless you remove the accessory, uh, the plug behind the rig that will cut off the heater supply. That way you can use it only for uh, receiving. I am planning to actually bring in, bring out two wires from the accessory heater uh, pins and then have a switch outside so that during receiving only monitoring I can switch off the heater supply to the finals thus you know extending its life further it's already about 48 years old now and uh, that's about it let me just bring it back to operate it has a still a AGC I think the AGC needs a little bit of work which I plan to do later but not in my priority list as it's uh, it's okay comfortable uh, reception if necessary I can always turn down the RF gain so Thank you for watching uh, this short video.